it's amazing and like I, I I know that feeling and it's just amazing like you want to get are doing here like or not just for the car and selling but for the community like more you become like this small place like Kelseyville like more attractive like yeah, oh, yeah. people like on the week or weekday they can like oh let's go to have a coffee and see like that like yeah. fast car so yeah. they have like some events I see you guys like every like a month or every weekend you have like a new event yeah. like you know what I mean so it's, it's really nice like but right now we're just every first Saturday we're doing coffee and donut from like seven to eleven. It's amazing that you know what we're getting, you know the, the the community coming out and participating with us. It's just fantastic. And we plan to expound on that. We want to make it even more in the future. We want to do car runs here. We want to do swap meets here. Um, we want to do you know private dances. We want to have music here. We want to have food. We want to do catering. We want to have food trucks up and down the road. And we have a lot. We have a lot of plans in the future. If, you know, if we can get it to go. So, we yeah, also do events here, so people come and rent the space for events. And I want to also set up uh, a day on the green, so you put us, uh, we'll have a, a big screen put up, and then put like fake grass out, people in town, uh, blankets down, and just have people come on in, watch a movie, hang out on a nice, cool yeah, spring really evening. Uh, yeah, it'd be really so cool. Be yeah. The yeah. other thing is, I've just started, uh, we'll be starting uh, a week from Saturday on the 27th a group called Lady Luck Ladies for the garage. And we will be a, just a group of ladies who get together. It's called All Wheels Welcome, so you don't have to necessarily have a hot ride. But we'll get together and do <coughs> car, <coughs> excuse me, car runs and things like that, where we'll collect some donations for the Kelseyville High School's mechanics department. And hopefully be able to buy them some equipment and things that will help them grow uh, in the community and give those kids an opportunity to it's amazing that I like, didn't know that. It's even more amazing, like you, you, are like you build up, like you growing, like the city too, like right. the community around you guys. It's, it's really amazing. And we've yeah. only been open since Father's Day, so we've only yeah, I right. saw that. Like, and, 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 yeah. and, and for sure, like I think everything you we, we do, like if you love passion, yes, is like uh, almost like a hundred percent. If you don't give up, if you like keep like perseverance, mm -hmm. you're gonna work out for sure. And, like, yeah. gonna work for guys and have, like, Amazing cars, amazing history behind. So it's really nice. And we're trying to bring the young people in too. Like the the, the, sh the shop class here came here on their senior uh, field trip, and uh, it was like I don't know eight or ten uh, seniors that came in. We bought a pizza, and I went through and explained each car to them because I'm I'm trying to keep the passion alive, you know, because. It's, it's it's literally dying off. Our audience for the older cars now is slowly slipping away, and so we have to somehow keep that you know alive and breathing you know for as long as we can. Because eventually these cars will just end up in a museum somewhere, and you know you won't be able to get gasoline and blah 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 blah. At so some point to, in our history, yeah. in our future, not in my lifetime, but not in my lifetime. But yeah, electric cars that are take over. <laughs> yeah. Well, what will happen, I believe, is they'll take the bodies these cars and possibly the chassis, but they'll put electric motors there in there. There yeah. And we've looked into doing that. We've looked into... It's just yeah. time, yeah. Um, you know, it's just, they're really expensive still, and oh, they're, they're not, you know, there's no production on them yet, so it's a little soon for, for us, but maybe that we'll, be our eventually, future. yeah, we, you know, we know we have to move towards that way, but uh, for right now, there's nothing like burning fossil fuels, man. It's just yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. It's just fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even care how fast they are, they just sound good, they look good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You know, when I was a kid, you'd drive down the road and you could say, that's a Ford, that's a Chevy, that's a Dodge, that's a Plymouth. You know, you, coming or going, they all look differently. Today, you can't tell you know, what car anything. Is, yeah. yeah, you can't tell anything. Well, most of them are silent, which is even <laughs> yeah. crazy. They, like, you, like, you cannot feel like the yeah. engine, like the power. Right. And, like, yeah. Yeah. That's why I believe the most probably had sound effects to there we are. Ah, yeah, yeah. they yeah, have, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. like, some kind of, like, the new Hummer, I think, the yeah. electrical car, I think they have, like, a sound effect. Yeah. Like, it's so crazy. I saw, it's yesterday, world. I saw yesterday on the line there was a new Hellcat, the Challenger, and it's got a, it's got a like, motor in it, and they have also audio yeah. speakers to... Yeah, because I think it. you just silence, like, some people don't like that. Some people like the silence, yeah, well, but some people yeah. like it. I don't like the silence. I prefer, yeah. like, it. The engine, like, like, yeah, like most of these cars, you can smell gasoline, you can smell oil, you can smell exhaust, and you can feel the heat off the motor. I mean, all those things are make the experience up. 
It's like I had a car in high school that was a 56 Chevy that we built. It had a 454 and a four speed, and you know, it was built a certain way. And I was lucky enough a few years ago to, to rebuild that car. And I, I sourced all the original parts that I could remember that we put in that car. And I actually made the car run again, you know? And I had told my boys all about this car. I talked about the, you know, this car my whole life to the boys about it. What it did and how it sounded, how, but you can tell someone about all that, but they don't know. Yeah. And when I was able to do that, the greatest joy of building that car was I was able to take my sons in that car and and drive, right? And you know, when when you get that full physical onset of all those senses, with the gasoline, the smoke, the burning rubber, you know, the sound and the dust coming off the headliner and stuff. And you're banging gears that that you can't you can't explain that to anybody. You yeah. have to you actually have to live it. that. Yes. You have to feel that because yeah. you don't. And unless you do that, you don't understand. That's what happened to me. My friend in high school, he had he had a '66 Chevelle, and he said, "Hey, I'll take you home today. You don't have to ride the bus today." I was like 14 years old, and I was like, "Okay." And when I got in that car and it had all that input, all that sensory input, and the very first corner he took and he started banging gears, it was just like that's my whole life. Yeah, so that I'm moment in time that just yeah. set me off on a path that you know it wasn't it wasn't my career in life, um, but it was always my passion. It was what I laid in bed at night and thought about. It was that that not that particular spot, but the car that I was building. But that was the driving force. It was that moment in time with him. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 So now you want to show me your car is here, like sure. yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So this is a 1956 Chevy sedan delivery. Basically these were used for like flower shops and you know, small contractors, plumbing, painting contractors back in 1956. Uh, this one's been modified. It has a updated running gear. It's got a 454 engine with air conditioning, automatic transmission. Uh, the body and the paint's beautiful on it. Very nice build. We're selling this right now at uh, Lady Luck Garage. It's thirty-two thousand, and it's a great buy. Um, great interior. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful, and like the color match, like between the body and like mm -hmm. the wheels too, is it's amazing. This is a nineteen fifty-eight Mercedes two hundred and twenty S. This is a customer's car that we brought in to consign with Lady Luck Garage. It has the original flathead six. It's a dual carburetor. Beautiful paint. Gorgeous chrome. Uh, it's got nice leather interior. The wood's beautiful. This is a nice touring car, good driving car. Uh, it's for sale right now at Lady Luck Garage for $95,000. It's a very rare car, very desirable. This is a 1930 Ford Model A sedan. It's all original. It's got the original flathead in it, three speed transmission. Uh, this car is, uh, is built to drive it's got uh, it's got a extra freeway gear in it so you can be driven on the road it's it's toured all over america with the model a club this is in great condition this car's for sale they like garage for eighteen thousand right now this is a 1957 ford ranchero this is the first year of this body style um, ford came up with this before chevrolet came up with the el camino this particular car is absolutely show condition the paint is perfect on it. The panels are mirror finished. Uh, the, the bed's all done. It has a small block Ford in it with an automatic transmission. This car has cruise control, power windows, power brakes, uh, air conditioning, and it is gorgeous. This is an all numbers matching 1965 GTO factory 389 tri power car. It has a glass back window, padded top. It has the Cyclone T-Speed automatic transmission. Everything is stock on this car. Nothing's been changed. It's in great condition. It runs great. It looks amazing. Um, the price on this car right now is $95,000 at Lady Luck Garage. This is a 1960 Ford Starliner. This is a top of the line Ford for 1960. This car was built basically for NASCAR because of the back window, the way that lays down like that, it's very aerodynamic. Uh, this car has a brand new, a 
original 352 motor with three deuces on top. It has air conditioning, aftermarket. The interior has been done. This car sat outside for 47 years and has incredible patina. It's for sale right now at Lady Luck Garage for $28,000. This is a 1931 Chrysler Deluxe 8. This is a super rare model. It's the Dual Cal Victoria. Uh, there are no production numbers done on this car, which means it's a special order. It's all original, has original paint, original interior. It's incredible. The motor runs great. It drives great. It stops great. This is a very, very, very nice car. Right now, it's open for, we're open for offers on the car. We believe the car should be somewhere between $150,000 and $250,000. This is a one year only 1939 Chevrolet five window coupe. This car has been, was built originally as a hot rod in 1984. It traveled all over the country with a IROC uh, Camaro motor in it. Now that's been all redone. It has a 350 LT1 aluminum head motor with tri-power. It's got a Muncie Rock Crusher four speed and a 57 Pontiac rear end underneath it, which are all brand new. It's running a Batman front suspension, which is independent front suspension and disc brakes. This car is beautiful, it runs great, and it sounds even better. This car is for sale right now, 32,000 for Lady Luck Garage. This is a 1923 Model T tea bucket. This was built by the Brizios down in South San Francisco, original body. Fiberglass body from 1974. This is a famous race car builder. He's a real award winner. This car is for sale right now at Lady Luck Garage for $24,000. $24, it has a small block 327 Corvette motor, Corvette transmission, and 55 Chevy rear end. It's all chrome suspension. This is a 1932 Ford Roadster. This was built by Chuck Salmon, who's a land speed record holder in Bonneville and in Australia. He built the fastest 32 Ford on the planet. This car is a Brookville body, hand built with a Maharaja dash and door pulls on the inside. Uh, true gold leaf. It has a 351 Cleveland. It's built. This car is a driver. It's been to Victoria to the Deuce Days several times. It's a show winning car. And it, unfortunately, is not for sale. This is a 1933 Ford custom-built steel roadster. This is a SEMA car. It placed in SEMA in 2017. All the finish on it is copper coating. The wheels, uh, the intake, everything is like that. Everything's hand-built. Um, the pinstriping on it is liquid brass, it's not actually paint. The, the gauge cluster in it is by Classic Industries, it's their flagship gauge, one of made. Um, all gears work. It's got a 501 cubic inch big block injected Ford, built by Freight Train Peters, the famous engine builder. This car is not just jewelry, it's a real race car. It's for sale right now, they like garage for 165000 Build cost on this car was three sixty. So it's a great deal. And if you want to win shows and go fast and scare yourself, this is the car for it. So stay tuned for the next chapter. Love and peace.